All right, everybody, we're out here at Mitri Lake, hmm. Yuma, Arizona. Another beautiful sunset. Some great people out here. We've got our friends, the Nomadic Ramblers, Bobby and Sharon, and of course, Shirley with Following the Yellow Brick Road. Man, this is just great. We got old Clark out here. We got some good neighbors next to us. Got some beautiful sunsets. Something special. We were actually in there watching some old videos from uh, the Nomadic Ramblers, and we forgot what time it was. We knew it was going to be a good sunset. But we'll show you some more videos in the morning. We are going to have, bring this around. There's Mr. Moon, and we will see that hopefully in the morning. Oh yeah, I don't know if it's focusing in or not. Kind of hazy out here tonight. Just beautiful out here. See if I can get this up here close. This is the new camping area they made off the access road coming in from the west. It's Mitri Lake Wildlife Area designated camping. And what they did, they brought a bunch of limestone in, still got piles back there, right next to the boat ramp. Uh, that they have right here and they made this a nice 10-day camping area excellent job good job wildlife area Mitri Lake beautiful there's some of the other Bobby and Sharon and them over there. Kim's over there talking to them while I'm doing a little filming. We're gonna pull out of here tomorrow. We're headed for a new area. Fantastic. Adopt the Jetty program, the Yuma Valley Chapter Order of Demolay. I think that's fantastic. They make these little jetties out in the lake, block it off where nobody can drive out there, go out there and fish. A lot of nice birds around here. Got a lot of reeds, swamp grass. In some areas, we're at Mitri Lake, right outside of Yuma, Arizona. This area is south of Imperial Dam LTVA, long term visitors area. We came here to stay a couple days before we head. To our next location, they got a nice little day use area here. We'll walk over here and I'll show you the uh, pavilion over here. Get out of this sunlight. That's a nice little area right here they have. Got a little covered pavilion right here with picnic tables. This is the day use area. Got your your grills out here. A lot of people could come out and use this. This is no overnight parking in this area. We got the lake up here. Lots of ducks and birds in this lake. That gentleman right over there is fishing. He's been here every morning. Look at Nick. A little truck camper right there. A 
but we are camped up there in the area where you can park for 10 days. It's supposed to be 10 consecutive days per year. Now I know Bobby and Sharon and Shirley, they have the units right over here. <clears throat> They've been here for 10 days, so uh, some of these other people have been here longer. So I don't know if they enforce it, the Rangers, we saw them a couple days ago. So I guess they just put it up there to keep people from just camping out and staying here permanently. There's plenty of areas to BLM out here. We're going to go pack up today and go to another one. There's a boat there coming in. Went out for the morning's fishing. Pretty palm trees they got around here. It's a nice place. So we're gonna get loaded up and go over to another LTVA. I think it's called the Bald Knob. LTVA. So right over the California side on Interstate 8. I think it's the first exit. I'm going to go out there and hang out for a while. Have some more people are going to show up out there. Have a little get together. So let's get this thing all put away. Go up and show you what I got. All right, here we are. We should have a great sunset tonight. We're back at La Posa South outside of Quartzsite. Just a beautiful area. Some of the same people are still here. Long-term visitor in this area. The sun is going down. It's been a beautiful day. We uh, left Yuma. We got Shirley over here. We got our rig and my sister's rig right here. The ladies are cooking us up something to eat, which I think it was salmon, some steaks. So we're going to have a good little meal tonight. Go into Quartzsite. We're going to work on this rig tomorrow. We'll film a little bit. I want to get into her rig and try to figure out uh, what's going on with her generator. I'm, I don't like the way it's running. I want to service it, give it an oil change and filter. And just give it a good once over we got another battery for it so we'll hook a couple 12 volt batteries up give her a little bit more but it seems like everybody else's rig is doing fine i mean it's been a great winter so far we hope you've enjoyed our videos if you take a moment just to like share comment give a thumbs up if you can we appreciate it very much but it's just so beautiful out here the the desert is starting to bloom. You're going to start seeing some good looking flowers coming on. The wind has been up almost every day for the last couple of weeks. We got plenty of breeze. It was 80 something down in Yuma. We left Yuma because it was getting a little bit warm. It's going to be warm all week down there. So we thought we'd come up here because usually quartzite is 5 to 10 degrees cooler than Yuma, typically. But tomorrow we're going to go in town. we got a bunch of supplies. We're going to work on the awnings. We bought some tarps that we're going to hang them down for some 60% shade netting. We've got to get some clips and just some odds and ends. So, Jim says it's pretty over there. It sure is, isn't it? I know the desert's kind of weird and everybody gets kind of bored of it. But once you stay out here for a while and really look at it, it's really amazing. But we should get some pretty good pictures tonight. Hey, middle of February 2020. You can see everybody parked out there. Got their own little spot. Nice little quiet area. It's 
So let's go see what's going on over here. I'm working on the M50. I think my battery's dead in my microphone, so I'm gonna figure out how to charge that. And uh, so we can get some pictures. But I think for tonight, we should be able to get some really good pictures. Hey, some days here. 